So, President, one of the uh, issues, questions we've been hearing from voters here is, how do you plan to deport the millions of people? I mean, it's probably 12, 13 million people under Biden alone that we'll, have come we'll here. And how will it work? Okay. It's going to work that we get the bad ones out first. They're coming in from prisons. They're coming in from jails and mental institutions. How will you find them? Jobs. We're going to find them through local police. Look, the local police, they're so phenomenal. I love them. They love me. I think I have 97 percent support. They know everything. They know the first names. They know everything. And it's a new it's a new category. I don't know if you've heard this, but I came up with this one. Migrant crime. There's crime. There's violent crime. There's migrant crime. We have a new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's going to be worse than any other form of crime. You look at New York City, what's going on where they attack police. They want to fight police officers. Our criminals don't even do that so much, OK? I've never seen them having fistfights with the police officers in the middle of the street. And we have to do something about it. These are tough people. Don't forget, they're not sending their finest. I know all the leaders of the South American... Well, they really hit you when you said that in 2015. You said they're sending... It doesn't sending matter. A, and, yeah. and, oh, and now, I all these years later... Um, Everything turned out to be right. Well, CBC um, is telling Unf us that... Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, Customs and Border Patrol announced yesterday that just in three days, 452 Chinese nationals have been apprehended by Border Patrol. And, Mr. President, 20,000 Chinese have entered since October. Yep. Okay, this is, uh, does this concern you more than other immigrant groups? Uh, probably it would because it's China and maybe what are they building a, an army in between? It was 29,000 people in the last, year. think of that, 29,000 people. And most of those people were young male fighting age, okay? So- What's going on? Look, you want to give the benefit of the doubt, but China was number one. And you look at Yemen, now they're coming in, we're bombing. Here we go again with this guy bombing everything. Bombing everything, gets no respect. He bombs and bombs, they're bombing Yemen. Well, they're bombing And us. we have a lot of Uchi Yemen. Rebels. Yemenis are coming into our country. We have people coming in from everywhere. They're coming in from the Congo. They interviewed some people last night. Where are you from, Congo? Where did you live, prison? They're emptying out their prisons into What's our What's the country. first thing you will do if you become president again on the border? I know well, that's gonna be your first act. There's two things I'm gonna do. Number one is drill, baby, drill. And the other thing, equal, <laughs> equal, is we're going to, look, I had the safest border in the history of our country, recorded history, because I can't tell you about a thousand years ago, but recorded history of the border by far. We had it down pat between guys like Tom Holman and Brandon Judd and unbelievable people that you have on your show. We had a great, all Biden had to do is stay at the beach. You know, he goes to the beach. Somebody said he looks great in a bathing suit. So he goes to the beach. If he went to the beach and didn't do it, but he canceled everything. Remain in Mexico, catch and release. We have catch and release, but we had release in Mexico. Why were you against the House, um, against the Senate border deal, the bipartisan border? Well, they allow 5,000 people a week, but a lot of people took it a as 5,000 people a day. They said 5,000 people a week, and you read it, and it says 5,000 people a day. Number one, that, but it also made it, it made it much better for the opposing side. It regularized, managed the crisis. It, you couldn't manage it. It was so complex. Uh, you're talking about, first of all, if you want to close the border, you're president. I didn't have any legislation. I had people opposed to me very strongly, including Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi. That was a little uh, triumvirate. And what I did after a year, I said, you know what, these people, I took the money out, we built 571 miles of border wall, and that's what made our border so good. We did another thing, I got 28,000 soldiers from Mexico. I sent to the president of Mexico, who I really like a lot. I think he's a terrific guy. He's a socialist, uh -huh. but a terrific guy, and he's fantastic, actually, in a lot of ways. I said, we need 28,000 soldiers to guard our border. He said, you got to be kidding. Well, I ended president. up getting, free of charge, 28,000. We had the safest border we've ever had. Now, we have the most unsafe, we have the worst border in the history of the world. There's never been a border of any country anywhere in the world that's been like Biden has announced, well, they've hinted that he's going to come out with a border executive um, order on, uh, on the border to clamp down on illegal immigration before the State of the Union message. I thought he said he didn't have the executive authority. So I do believe that he's baked in. I don't think he can ever even come close unless people are really stupid, which they're not. The public is much smarter than the politicians. He's not going to be able to